guys? Jeremy here. It's been quite a while since I last saw you all. Um, not for lack of uh, collecting anything. I uh, just haven't had a chance to get around to making a video. Um, so this is some of the stuff that I've gotten over the past uh, few weeks here. Uh, we'll start off with video games, then uh, if there's any interest, there's general pickups. Um, when it comes to games, not really the best. It's uh, Again, I haven't been out really hunting. That's just because it's been Christmas time, uh, end of the year, parties. Um, different stuff, volunteer stuff, so that's been taking up a lot of my time. But I'll just give you a quick glimpse of everything that's here, and then we'll go over the games. And if you want, after you can stick around and check out the other stuff. So, uh, all of this stuff I'm showing you here uh, came out to $46.90. Okay, so I'll definitely go through each piece uh, a little bit in more detail in a second here. But let's get to the stuff that you're interested in the games. Okay, so uh, coincidentally, um, I found this CD, and I shouldn't even leave it like this, for Sega CD, it's uh, Lunar, uh, the Silver Star, um, it just, this is how it came, this is how I found it, so I just uh, threw that in there, I have to get a case for it and stuff, um, I haven't even checked online to see what the quality of the game is itself, but I knew that uh, it's either this one, there's another Lunar uh, for Sega CD that was uh, fairly good. Alright, so I'm just going to lay it there. Um, <clears throat> this will be a trade, definitely a trade. Um, this is Ocarina of Time for Nintendo 64. You can tell there the label's a little bit worn, but uh, considering I got all this for 46 bucks, this probably came out to like 5 or 10 cents, <laughs> if that. <laughs> um, for the just regular Nintendo, it's Captain Comic. Just another common rare, or not rare at all, just a very common game Karate Champ. Dragon Spirit, uh, Crystallis, uh, for PlayStation 1, Contra Legacy of War, this is probably the best pickup of this entire week in terms of video game collecting, and for Sega Genesis, we have Maximum Carnage, alright, <clears throat> other than that, the only video game things that were kind of cool are this a uh, little plug and play here uh, has Pac-Man, uh, Galaga, Xevious, and Mappy on it. So that was pretty cool. And probably throw this guy in the wash and then have him post up somewhere. Just Super Mario with the, uh, the wings. All right. So that is actually it for this video game collecting. I know it's quite boring. Apologies for that. Um, I guess I'll just give you a quick rundown if you'd like to stick around and check out what else I got. Um, we'll just go from there. And no particular order, um, just to board games, table games, is uh, you have a 22 inch uh, tabletop uh, road hockey uh, game here. Uh, <clears throat> just Team Canada, Team USA. Um, so that's cool. Uh, this is more of a card game. Spider-Man vs. Dr. Octopus. Uh, just a regular card game, I just thought. So I threw in the in the cart. And here, I haven't even seen the new movie. I heard it's pretty garbage, to be honest, but uh, it's, uh, <laughs> here's the board game Conan, for the age of Conan. Uh, so this looks pretty interesting, um, uh, I'll see if I, my, my relatives will want to play this, I know they're more into the um, board games and stuff. <clears throat> and then I just took these out, uh, just for VHS, like there's Conan the Destroyer, nothing big, uh, Conan the Barbarian, and Red Sonja. <laughs> Other than that, uh, we're just going to keep moving along. Uh, over here, I was able to pick up, uh, <clears throat> and now you're going to be like, oh my god, you're going way back. <laughs> but uh, an 8-track player. It actually works. Uh, got it cleaned up a little bit, too. And then uh, there's a, probably about 100 tapes. Uh, tapes range. Um, this The cover for this isn't the best. There's Rolling Stones. Like Alice Cooper. Yeah, like Pink Floyd. And stuff. So that was all there. It's about over 100 tapes. Uh, I won't even bother showing you guys that. Uh, probably close to 20 to 30 more records, um, ranging from like U2 right there to uh, their Santana to GNR. Lies. So I'll put that in a different video. Um, another thing here, and actually I saw this at Value Village. Uh, it was $2.99, but. Um, it's actually, believe it or not, it looks like a black thing in a plastic, probably on video. But this is actually the Black Pearl. <laughs> There's the uh, pirate sign. 
and Jack Sparrow is in the bottom there. You can see his red bandana. And then uh, just a couple other things. Um, there's another DVD player. I'm actually going to give that to my parents and they can hook it up so they can watch uh, movies um, in their room. And then just to add to the stereo components, here's another um, older version JVC uh, CD player which will add to the stereo. Uh, in this box here, uh, this box right here, you have about a hundred CDs. Um, they're all in great condition, uh, ranging from uh, like Incubus to like Ja Rule. Um, you have everything in there, R&B and hip hop, everything. A uh, couple more movies, nothing big. Maximum Overdrive, like Gleaming the Cube, Army of Darkness. A couple uh, DVDs there to show you one. There's Pulp Fiction. I have that on Blu-ray, so. I'll probably give that to someone. Uh, there's Halo, which uh, that I'll give definitely give that to someone. A um, couple more movies like Willow, <laughs> and then a couple old uh, classic DVDs, which I'll give to uh, my parents of the player. Uh, in here you have a box of uh, movies. There's probably about uh, 30 to 40 movies in there, believe it or not, uh, ranging from Goonies to the uh, entire James Bond collection. Some old classic stuff like. Battlestar Galactica, and in here is a little bit of a science fiction collection. Um, Lost in Space, BSG, uh, Buck Rogers, and a couple cool things. Actually, why I particularly picked out this box. I'm gonna be careful with these, but uh, a couple rare or not common uh, Star Wars VHS movies. I want to make sure I got both of them. Yeah, and I'm just gonna show you what these are, which caught my eye, and uh, I actually took the box. Uh, for uh, for these alone, really. Uh, Ewoks, The Battle for Endor. And uh, the Ewok Adventure. All right. Um, the boxes for these are in uh, very good condition. Um, I know there's a history to these movies. I can't tell you what they are. I'll have to look it up. Uh, but it uh, looks pretty interesting. And stuff, so we'll definitely check that out. And you might have noticed as well um, that I picked up the all the original... Uh, Star Wars movies, right? So there's Return of the Jedi. And uh, at Christmas time, I know my girlfriend's probably going to get me the uh, Blu-ray box set there for Star Wars, but uh, the thing with the old movies is they're unedited, nothing's added, nothing, you know, like they're just the way they were pretty much shown. So what I've heard through the grapevine about the Blu-rays is that uh, a lot of new stuff was ad added in. And if you're a purist, then, you know, it's not really the best, although the video quality is better. So that was everything there, and if you like, um, in my next video I'm going to go through the records. So it's Jeremy signing off, hopefully next time we have something better to show you, but I uh, hope you're all well and I uh, hope you're getting ready for Christmas.